HM Revenue Custom. How may I help you? Yes, uh, good afternoon. Um, I've just uh, received a uh, message from you um, about my solicitor. This is the HM Revenue Customs, correct? Yeah. Okay, can you explain to me about that message, please? Okay, so a very good afternoon to you too, sir. So, my name is Officer Adam Goodwill from Crime Investigation Unit of HM Revenue Custom. Now, the reason you get a call from our department is to inform you that you are being listed as a primary suspect in a case filed by our department for a tax fraud. Do you have any idea about this case? Uh, no, I, I, I'm assuming you've got the wrong person. Um... Do you want to check my details and just make sure you have the, the right person you're speaking to? Okay, well, we all have your details here, but we don't have authorized from our department to verify it. Okay? So, uh, and the, I would like to inform you that the line on which we are talking right now is being recorded and monitored by the HM Revenue Custom and the local authorities. So be careful while I talk the line. So, okay. Uh, before I go any further, do you have a pen and a paper with you handy? Uh, I can get one, bear with me. Okay, and my name is Officer Adam Goodwill from Crime Investigation Unit of HM Revenue Custom. Okay, well now, before I go any further, can you verify me your first and the last name in our recorded line? Uh, yes, it's uh, Emil. My surname is Keyway. Okay, Keyway. Yes, K E Y W A Y. Okay, and what is your postcode? Okay, well now, can you help me verify your national insurance number? Okay, now listen. This is my job to inform you about this case. Okay, so listen to me carefully. Okay, well, we H M Revenue and Custom have done a random audit of your tax filing between the year two thousand sixteen to twenty and came to the conclusion that your taxes are still outstanding. So there has been a miscalculation in your tax filing. Miscalculation in the sense that, yes, you have paid your tax on time, but not with an appropriate amount. And the amount which you have paid was incorrect. That the reason HMRC has filed a legal case against you regarding four serious allegations, which is violation of tax regulation, violation of HMRC code, theft by deception, and willful misrepresentation of the information to the government organization. So now we are not denying that you have not paid your taxes. Yes, you have paid your taxes to HMRC, mm -hmm. but the amount which you have paid, that was the incorrect amount. Now from the audit, we came to know that there were several miscalculations which were done from your side. While filing your taxes, this miscalculation were done internationally or it was done by mistake. That we don't know, but it is considered as fraud with HMRC. And now the general rule of thumb is that the HMRC has five years to audit your tax return. Although the HMRC is limited to how far back it can look when filing charges in criminal code. So there is no state of limitation for civil tax fraud, this means HMRC can look back as far as it wants when suing for civil fraud. And right now, that's the reason we have decided to forcefully recover this amount by involving the HMRC code 6331H against you, which means we will mark a lien on your assets, including house and car. All your known bank account could be frozen and confiscated. The credit reporting agency will be notified about your tax fraud and the lien your assets. All your wages and benefits will be frozen by blacklisting your national insurance number. And your passport will be seized along with your state ID till further notice. And if you belong to a country other than United Kingdom, then under this code you'll be deported. And it might be a possible that it yeah, you can also find a non-bail arrest warrant against you. And as well, all this information is going to publish in the local media newspaper along with your recent ID proof. In order to set an example that you are the one who tried to cheat with HMRC, that's no, the reason no, no. HMRC is climbing on your property. Okay?
Yeah, I've not done that whatsoever. Um, I, as I've mentioned before, I'm I'm pretty confident you've got the the wrong man. Um, how much is outstanding? Okay, so let me finish. Okay, so today with the next forty five minutes, this will be registered into the code, and when this case will be registered into the code, then you have to fight this case. If you win this case, that will be great. But if you lose this case, then you will be penalized by the court with the amount up to £35,000. And if you fail to pay this amount, then the local police department will generate a warrant ID on your name and send the police officer to arrest you for defrauding the HMRC. And you will be facing a jail term for at least seven years as per the subsidiary law. Chapter 98 under Section 4 for defrauding the economy of the government of United Kingdom. Okay, so now let me just come to the bottom line, okay? Go on. Actually, yeah, actually, this about non repayment of your tax in between those years 2016 to 20. Whatever the information which you have provided to HMRC, that information is quite perfect, but the amount which you had paid to HMRC by using the tax rate. The tax rate was wrong. So in this way, you had not paid in those full of five years. So according to this case file, we have done a confidently audit on your tax file for the year 2016 to 20. Make sure we are not talking about anyone particularly here, here but here we are talking about the duration of those five years between 2016 and 20. We have found that there was some miscalculation or discrepancy on over your tax file. It does not mean to say that you are not filing your taxes or you are not taking care of your taxes on time. We already know that you are the law-abiding citizen of United Kingdom who is filling his tax on time. I am. But, yeah, but there was some miscalculation or there was some kind of unusual figure which you have not mentioned on your tax file properly. That is the reason this is the different amount between what you have shown to the government and which you have on your record. So as per the document, we have calculated your tax on the basic report which we have got from your bank account, debit card, and other financial institutions. We have found that the tax return doesn't match the tax record. We have with us, so it seems that you are trying to defraud with the government of United Kingdom and trying to hide your earned income. And in order to pay your taxes, you need to use a tax rate, which is 8.36, but you had used 5.21 tax rate. That's the reason uh, you haven't paid the full amount on those till here you are on the pin. So right. now I finally did my job here to notify you about this case, so you cannot say anyone that you are not aware of this case. So any question in the in you want to ask me? Yeah, uh, so obviously I, I wasn't aware about the tax code and, and I understand that obviously I've underpaid. Uh, it's just one of those things. But um, blocking my passport, uh, freezing my accounts, my driving license, uh, publicly humiliating me in the, the, the papers, I think that's a bit extreme. How much is How much is missing? How much do I owe? Okay, your outstanding balance is two. Two hundred and sixty-eight pound, like two thousand and sixty-eight pound. Sorry, two hundred and sixty-eight or two thousand sixty-eight. No, it's two thousand and sixty-eight pound. The outstanding amount is. Right, I can probably pay that. I need to move some money about, but yeah, I could probably uh, pay that. Does that mean that um, none of the above will happen? Everything that you listed. Uh, will will be avoided, and I've cleared my name, and that's all the issues gone. Yes, yeah, that and anything else you you didn't understand, I will repeat it. Is there anything else you didn't understand? Yeah, just that tax code. You said that I was uh, on tax code what five point two one, but I needed to be on eight point seven. Eight point thirty six. Yeah. Eight point. But you had used five point twenty one tax rate. Right. That's the reason you haven't paid the full amount on those till year you are on the pay. Right, okay, yeah, it's, it's an area I'm not really strong with, but no, I, I accept that, it's one of those things. No, but as I, I think say, can, the, like, the repercussions that, are a, are a bit extreme. That you, yeah, it's better you hire an accountant, okay? It will uh, help you with it. I think moving forward, I may well just do that, yes. So, what's the yeah. process now? So do, now like, do I 
Do I send no. this? Do I give you my details? No. Do I send this across? Do I? Can I do online banking? No, there is like like here. I finally did my job. Okay, to notify you about this case. This like I told you, this crime investigation unit. So like there is two options for you. If you want to resolve this case, I, I can do. send for the line to our accountant team. Okay. Yes. Who look after the tax or the tax return and all. And second option is yours. That you can file this case into the Central London County Court. No. So if what, you want to, what do you want to do? If sir? you want to transfer me to your accounting team, that would be uh, uh, that would help. Okay. So before I transfer the line, anything else you want me to like? Like you didn't understand anything else that you want me to say? No, the 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 well, the evidence is put in front of me. The element of tax codes it makes a lot of sense. I've never been good with numbers. My friend, I thought he was good, but he's uh, clearly there's been some issues, and uh, it, it it does make a lot okay. of sense. Okay, gotcha. Okay, then I can transfer the line to our accountant team. Okay, he will help you and give a clear picture of this case. Okay. Okay, that's lovely. Thank you, madam. Okay. Okay, hold the line, please. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for holding the line. Your call has been transferred to the accountant advisor. This is Officer Richard Filson. How are you doing? Uh, I'm okay, thank you, Richard. Did you say Wilson or Filson? Filson. Filson, okay. How are you doing today? Uh, I, I'm not too bad, thank you. It's, it's lovely sunshine today. Mm -hmm. Right, so your colleague mentioned that um, I've I've not used the Tourette, the, the Tourette's the the correct tax code yeah. for yeah, correct. you uh, haven't paid the correct amount of tax. tax. Yeah, tax. and I've Once got an outstanding of two thousand. And you audited your shit. We have found lots of miscalculation. Sorry, you aud you audited item. my shed. I'm sorry, beg your pardon? Uh, just say that again. You audited, audited my... I'm not getting what he said, sir. Okay, yeah, just carry on. Just carry on. He definitely said shit. Definitely. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, sorry, the line went a bit quiet then. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect your line to the one who was auditing your shit, okay? Just stay on the line. Yeah, he said it again. Have I been found out already? This number's new. Maybe they just recognize my voice. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, thanks for holding. So, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm okay, thank you. Who was this? Yeah, uh, this is the case in charge. This David. David. What's your surname, David? It's Hoffman. So, how do we progress, David? What do I need to do? Let me explain you about this first of all, because before I give you any kind of option to resolve it, I want you to get this thing very clearly. I just want you to understand everything very clearly, okay? Uh, yes, that's fine. Now, there was an audit on your tax file for the last five years, okay? And when the audit report comes up, they found there were many mistakes and certain miscalculation. So when they got the audit reports, they, dis they just uh, declare your name in tax fraud. And they directly forwarded this investigation along with the audit reports because the audit... Sorry? No, I'm, I'm listening. Okay, so the audit report is right now in County Court, London. We don't have the audit reports because we are just an investigator. We have just a case paper. So right now we need to show you a picture that right after this phone call, this case will be downloading in a County Court, London. But once this case will be in County Court, London, once you've been proved guilty about your mistakes, then you will be penalized with the amount of £35,000 and if you will fail to pay this penalty in court, there will be a jail term which will be up to seven years, which will be non bailable These are the consequences which you will face. Did he explain to you about the outstanding amount? 
Yes, uh, two thousand and sixty-eight pounds is outstanding. Yeah, that's the miscalculation amount. So right now, the HMRC has already declared your name in tax fraud. So they have closed all online gateways where you cannot go online and make a payment because the option is already closed. So right now, what I can do for you is that if you don't want to go to court, I can request, I can arrange our solicitor who can remove your name out of this case, out of court, by accepting this payment, which is £2,068. Once my solicitor will accept this payment, then after uh, it will take 30, 35 minutes where you will get your audit reports and the payment receipt in your email. Once you'll get your audit reports, you can cross-check with your all papers that where you made a mistake or it's a mistake of auditors, everything. And you will have a time limit of 24 hours in your hand to prove if there is no mistake from your end, you can just uh, put an argument with that paper attached to it along with your documents and return it back to HMRC office. Once you will cross-check, if we found there is no mistake from your rent, then this amount, which is £2,068, will be returned back in your bank account in the next seven working days. And if there will be a mistake from your rent, the outstanding amount will be cleared. So I just want you to know what is your intention. Uh, I would like to clear this, and um, if there's the option to pay the outstanding, then perfect. So, uh, before I proceed any further, uh, what's the bank? Can you just tell me the name of the bank which you're banking, so I can request solicitor to provide me the account details, or you can just do a transaction by your own. Uh, yeah, sure. I've got I've I've got two banks. I've got a savings with my Santander, and I've also got HSBC for like my business accounts. So from which bank you will make a transfer? Uh, I'll do it from my business. Uh, it's it's because of my business taxes, so I'll do it from my HSBC business account. Okay, so you have online banking? Uh, yes, I've got it on my laptop. Great. So you can open the online banking. Meanwhile, let me get account details of my solicitor, okay? Right, okay. And make sure the line should not get disconnected. Once you're in your online application, I'll just I'm just requested to my solicitor to give me an account and let me know, okay? Right, okay. Uh yeah, that's all logged in. Okay. okay. So once it's ready, just let me know. Yeah, I am all so logged I in. So I can get a details. And into the confusion that your taxes are still outstanding. Right. Am I doing so you? Can you just, uh, yeah, I'm going to set you up Sorry? as a, a new recipient. Is that okay? Right, right. You need to re uh, set a new recipient for that because I'm yeah. just requesting my solicitor to give me the account details. Okay. Okay. And I hope you have all the documents, right, to cross-check the audit reports to get the details on. Um, I'm sure that my colleague will do. Your colleagues will be. Okay, no problem, because once this will be resolved out of court, I'll definitely just request the court to give me the audit reports, and I'll give it to you. You can just check it by your own where exactly the mistake was, okay? okay so that the case will fine. be removed out from your name, okay? Perfect. That's that's great. Great. So just bear with me, okay? Let me just get account details. I requested them. Just be with me, okay? Okay. You are there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so I have a details of our solicitor accounts. Okay. Uh, what I'll do is I'll add you as a P-A-Y-E-E. -E. Um, it's asking Sorry? for a name. Uh, so first... Uh, you just write down the account number. It's two nine. Correct. Now go for the short code number. The short codes, yes. Short code will be six zero. That's correct. Now the name. So the first name will be Veronica. Correct. Now we can proceed further. Yep. 
Right, so... And I hope you got the amount right. Yeah, I've transferred funds. I've made sure that it's in my business account already. That's fine. Okay, and what so... you have to write in reference, ask me first, okay? Uh, yeah, bear with me. I'm just putting in the sort codes. Three, seven, one. Um, it's from my business account. Um, it's uh, give me the option uh, uh, business, no, no. business or personal. It's it's a it's a personal account for a solicitor. It's a personal solicitor account. Right. So I'm putting personal. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, there we go. It's asking for a reference. What am I putting for the reference? In reference, just type solicitor bill. Solicitor bill. Okay. Um, it's asking me to verify the account. Yeah, let's verify. And just ask me, just so I can help you out. Real face problems. Oh, um, it's come up with fraud. Uh, fraud alerts. Uh, yeah, because it's a new account which you're adding it. It will be show you just down. You can see continue. Still continue. Uh, yeah, well, it asked me to verify it. It said fraud alerts. Um, is, is yeah, it will show you because it's a new account which you're adding there. So it will show you the alert because maybe they will doubt you that you're trying to remove your funds to a different account. That's the reason you'll get a fraud alert in a new account. So you can down, you can see still continue or continue anyhow. Right, okay. And once done, just let me know, okay? Uh, yeah, um, that's going through now. Can you hear me? Uh, oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. That's just going through now. It's taken a long time. Oh. So let me know once it will be confirmed, okay? Yeah, still going through. It's doing that twirly loading thing. And you are doing it from your business account, right? Uh, yes, it is from my business account, correct. Okay. So once it will be arranged, once it will be confirmed, let me know. <laughs> I gotcha. Bitch. Oh, right. So it's come back. Um, transaction failed. Suspected fraud. It's got a little bell icon in the top corner. Okay. Yeah, transaction failed. Anything? Uh, suspected fraud. Anything? Uh, and it's got a little bell icon. Any other option you see there? Um, it just says press back to continue. I'll press back. So just press, so press back to continue. Yeah, it's take me to the home screen again. It just take you to the home screen again. Yeah, home screen. Um, let me double check my transfer, see if that's gone out. Check it, please. Yeah, last last transfer was. Uh, was to Amazon uh, this morning. Um, that's not gone through. Okay. So just, will you try it once again so that I can just check the problem? If it'll be a problem, I can just request them to resolve it. Yes, of course. Um, bear with me. I saved you, didn't I? There we go. That's a new transfer. Just uh, check your payee. Maybe you added it. It's saved. I did. Yeah, it is saved. It is saved. Um, so if I come to that, and it was two thousand and sixty-eight pounds. Yeah, yeah. It's asking to verify. Yeah, it's come up. Uh, so where it uh, says it? verify, I've clicked verify, and it's come up with suspected fraud again. Um, uh huh. But still giving me the option to continue, okay, so I'll press continue. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, and after continuing, you just ask me first that where you click, so I can help you to get the right thing. Yeah, so it's literally, uh, do I want to confirm these details? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, click. Okay, that's going through now. Okay. Let me know once it will be went through. Oh, guys, this is epic. The bank's already responded. Is it done, or what exactly it's saying? It's still loading, bear with me. Okay. Yeah, there we go again. Transaction rejected. Suspected fraud on the account. Okay, do one thing. Okay, do one thing. You got the uh, notification transfer rejected. Can you just take a screenshot of it? Oh, I've pressed back. I've pressed back. I've gone back to the home screen. No, no, no. No, don't press, press back. Just the place where you were, just take a screenshot I, so I can just get a confirmation that there is a problem with this account. Yeah, I've already pressed back, I'm afraid. It's already been done. I'm back at the home screen. Okay. And th this account so just is... try it once again. Yeah, well, I'm just thinking it's done it twice, and when it's verified, it's also said twice that, um, you know, suspected fraud. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on with this account. I'm also a bit wary about sending money again to this. It's said fraud on, on four separate occasions now, be it the verification and the actual transfer. Do you have another solicitor? I'll just send it to that. I'd feel a lot more comfortable to do that. So just be with me, okay? Right, because, okay. Uh, do one thing, do one thing, because to get uh, to get the, another account details or another solicitor, just try it once again, and once you'll get a notification that suspected fraud, something like that, just take a screenshot of it, please, so I will get yeah, a confirmation I, about this, please. Again, I, I've seen it four separate occasions saying suspected fraud. I, I, I really don't feel comfortable attempting it again. We've, we've, we've seen so it four it separate times. Time, so you can just get a screenshot of it. Just try it last time and get a screenshot of it, please, so I can yeah. request them. Do you want to get me another account and we'll, we'll, we'll just do that? No, to arrange a different account or different solicitor, at least I need to submit the evidence that what's the problem we are facing with this account. Understand? Then only I can get the details of different ones. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. Um, all right, yeah, I'll do this one last time. Bear with me. Last time, and once you get a confirmation, do let me know. Just take a screenshot of it where you face the problem. Okay, verify. Yeah, so when I do that verify, it's come up with um, it's come up with suspected fraud. Right, you can say still continue. Continue, yeah. And after that, what you see there, let me know first. That where you're clicking. Yeah, it it says to go ahead with the transaction. Click here. So I've clicked there. Yeah, just click there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, transaction failed. Suspected fraud. Um, it's got that little bell icon. Just take a screenshot of it, please. Yes. Take a screenshot, yeah. You're done taking a screenshot where you can see that there's suspected fraud not allowing to do a transaction in this account? <laughs> There we go. Okay, now do one thing. Uh, just write down the email address. Just attach that screenshot and send it to me, please. Uh, yep. So the email address will be HMRC. HMRC. D E P A, like Dr. E Echo Papa. Alpha D E P A. Yeah. One, number one. Yeah. At gmail dot com. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. That's just been sent. 
Let me get a confirmation. Yeah, hold on, please. Ah, oh, Jesse Norman. What's up, man? Jesse, talk to me. I've not spoke to you in a while, dude. I thought you got uh, sacked. Jesse, don't leave me hanging again, man. <laughs> Come on, guys, talk to me. Do you want me to stop doing this? Talk to me, guys. Do you want me to stop doing this? Just talk to me. Just uh, make a conversation. We'll see where it goes. Oh, hey, let me check, sir. On the line, please. Yeah, come on. Talk to me. What's up? Come on, man. Talk to me. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Is, is this is this the boss? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, I just had a screenshot. It's true that I you have sent your money. So hold on for uh, thirty minutes, okay? Let me like, let me ask for I'm not a holding on for about your resolving paper. Okay, no, I'm not holding on for thirty minutes because you'll be trying to do something to my number. Um, do you guys want me to stop doing this? Do you want me to stop obtaining and reporting your details? You motherfucker, you waste my time here. Son of a bitch. You old man. Fuck, if you are if you are here with me, I'm gonna kill you. You know that? I'm gonna kill you. Do you think that what you do is right? You're disgusting. You target no. old people. That's wrong send on so me many levels. Motherfucker. I'll sell your house, I will sell a man. Okay? And tell to be right, we're gonna come to your house and shoot you. If you are not sending this money yes again, then we are gonna be killed. Dude, you're disgusting. Yeah, find a you. real job. Seriously, yeah, find a you. real job. We what you do is bad. We have your address, home number, house number and all. No, okay. you don't. Now it's up to you. No, you don't. Come on, what's my details? What's my address? What's my home number? Tell me. Your house number is three. <laughs> right. Do you honestly think that I'd give you the right details? <laughs> How many times have I got bank accounts from you guys? How many times have I posted videos Cat about Jesse Norman? You are from Cadney Road, Glasgow. I'm not. That's Cadney a fake Road, address. Glasgow. That's a fake address, you Wally. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you very much for the bank details. As you have seen already, the bank has been uh, notified of this. They've responded to me, so that will have been closed down already. Um, I suggest you find a real job. It's true, yeah. It's your scam, right? It's your scam, right? On your mobile when you when you added like added a money there or like it's your scam, right? On your online banking. Nothing that you do right. is legit. You are terrible people. And I, I hope that you no, find a good like way of life. Okay? I hope you find a good way. Like okay? Did did it show a scam on your online banking? Did it show a scam? I'm going to leave you to have a terrible day, and I hope you find what it is you're looking okay, for. Can you just tell me that? What? Can you just tell me that on, on your online banking, did it, when you pay the money, it shows scam, like fraud. Did it show that? I'm not telling you a single thing. Uh, that was me that hung up. Um, he's just fishing for information, because they don't know. Uh... Yeah, guys, leave us uh, a like, give us a smile, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And please educate somebody that may not be aware about this sort of thing. Thank you.